Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain block diagram of communication system with great clarity. First of all, one should know what is communication system. See in communication system, sender will be sending information to receiver. So if you observe here, we have sender side, sender will be sending information to receiver over here. So this is receiver side. In between sender and receiver, we have transmission channel. See this transmission channel can be wireless transmission channel or it can be wired transmission channel. If we have wireless transmission channel here, then here sender will be having antenna and that antenna will be transmitting electromagnetic waves to receiver and receiver will be having antenna over here that will be receiving electromagnetic waves. If you have wired transmission channel, then again there can be two categories. See, there can be optical channel or electrical channel. If we have optical channel, then with the use of optical cable, we can transmit information from sender to receiver. And if we have electrical channel, then with the use of electrical cable, we can transmit information from sender to receiver. So basic goal of communication system is to transmit information from sender to receiver via channel, right? Now if you observe here first block with sender is input information. See this input information can be physical quantity or it could be electrical signal, right? See if you have physical quantity over here, then next block will be transducer this transducer that will be converting physical quantity into electrical signal so if you have information that is non electrical quantity then we need transducer over here to convert non electrical quantity into electrical quantity for example if we have input information that is voice then with the use of microphone we can convert voice into electrical signal right so here information input that will be voice, video, text or digital data. If we have non electrical information over here, then next block that will be input transducer. This input transducer that will be converting non electrical information into electrical signal, right? So after input transducer, here we will be having electrical signal. Now you need to understand characteristics of electrical signal available over here. See that electrical signal that will be having lower energy and it will be having lower frequency characteristics. For example, if you talk about voice, then voice signal that can have maximum frequencies up to 20 kilohertz only. So usually physical information that is having lower frequency information and it will be having lower energy. So that information that we give it to transmitter block. So here we have low frequency, low energy information and in transmission channel here there should be higher frequency and higher energy signal. So transmitter block that will be converting lower frequency information into higher frequency information with the use of modulation. So modulation that is a process of conversion of low frequency information into high frequency information. So over this side we have high frequency information. See inside transmitter block there can be many other blocks as well. Like here there can be amplifier inside. Amplifier that will be converting low energy signal into high energy signal, right? As well as inside this transmitter block there can be filter, mixture, right? So here with this sender side over here we will be having high frequency information with higher energy and that we give it to transmission channel. As I have told you in transmission channel there can be wireless or wired transmission channel. If we have wireless transmission channel then here there will be antenna. With the use of antenna we can transmit electromagnetic waves to receiver and receiver will be having antenna over here and it will be receiving electromagnetic waves. 
here transmission channel can be wired transmission channel in wired transmission channel there can be again two categories optical and electrical in case of optical channel there will be connection of optical fiber cable in between sender and receiver and in case of electrical channel there will be electrical cable connection in between sender and receiver right so here we have transmission channel that could be wireless or wired one should know see in this transmission of signal noise is getting added so here we have information that is having high frequency and higher energy and that we transmit it via transmission channel and after transmission channel here whatever information that we have that is having additional noise due to channel like in wireless channel extreme noise is getting added right and one more thing that you need to understand over here see there will be longer distance communication in few cases so if you have long distance transmission over here in that case here there will be low energy signal right frequency will be high but energy will be low at receiver side so here we have high frequency low energy signal that we receive right after that we have receiver block see receiver block that is converting high frequency information into low frequency information with the use of demodulation. So here at transmitter side what we do? We convert low frequency information into high frequency information with the use of modulation process. Here we need to perform opposite of that. Means here there will be demodulation process where we convert high frequency information into low frequency information. As well as with this receiver block we will be having amplifier inside that will be converting low energy signal into high energy signal right so receiver block that will be converting higher frequency information into lower frequency information with the use of demodulation as well as inside receiver there will be amplifier that will be converting low energy signal into high energy signal right now here we have electrical signal right and that is having lower frequency information and as if we have electrical information over here then that will be output information but sometimes we may have information over here that is non-electrical quantity so in that case again we will be having output transducer that will be converting electrical information into non-electrical information like if we have voice signal right so voice signal that is non-electrical signal so here what we do we use transducer as a microphone and it will be converting voice signal into electrical signal and over here we have electrical signal but we want voice signal so here electrical signal will be given to speaker and that speaker will be converting electrical signal into voice again right so at output transducer we perform conversion of electrical signal into real world information for example if you have speaker as a transducer then it will be converting electrical signal into voice signal over here right so that is how complete process is there with communication system this is in general block diagram in this video lecture series of analog communication i will explain each and every block with great clarity along with the modulation still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video